Our little friends are singing their hearts out. Can you just be quiet for five minutes, please, while we do this? Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. It's a uh, fabulous day here in central yeah. Portugal. Yeah. Um, and we have set ourselves a little challenge. <laughs> <sighs> it's quite a challenge already. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So we try to choose the coolest day of the week. Uh -huh. um, it's meant to only get up to a maximum of about 36 today. Mm. And that's only for about four hours at the peak of the day in main afternoon. Okay. <sighs> so shouldn't be too, too bad. No. So what we've done is we've set ourselves the challenge of spending a full 24 hours on our land. Mm -hmm. And that means our very first sleepover in the garden house. Mm -hmm. So it, this morning was like operation <laughs> house move. Yeah, it was house move. Yeah, we pulled everything out of the house literally and brought it. <laughs> not quite, but yeah. No, but obviously there's nothing here. So mm. we needed some bedding. We needed some food. We needed something to cook that food on. You yep. know, that, that you get the idea. But we're still going to be camping. So we haven't bought the whole cooker we yeah, haven't bought the whole just, gas stove down. We've bought you'll like see a as the day unfolds. Yeah, we'll show you'll you. See. We'll show you. So, I hope our friends, the uh, cicadas, are not too loud. Oh, We're yeah. trying our best for <laughs> you. But as soon as we turned up, boom, they started. Yeah. <laughs> so, our two main reasons for com coming away for the day. Mm. Um, one... We want to use this space before we finish it off. Mm. Um, I'm a real big, um, I can't think of the word. I really think you have to live in a space oh, yeah. Yeah. before you... You're a big advocate, advocate. of Thank living you. in That's a... a wonderful uh -huh. word for Of today. living in the space. Before you do anything to it. Yeah. You need to know how you're going to use that space mm. Mm. so you can set it up properly to do that not that we're going to live in the garden house no. but we are going to use it and other people will use it like when yeah. family come and visit and it yeah. has to be functional functional that's a good word yeah yeah second and probably most pressing reason most. is that <laughs> most pressing yeah we have two videos that we really need to get um filmed mm-hmm and we're going to use today to do that because yeah. we have two sponsored videos that we must get done yeah. because we have been a little bit lazy since Jude went home. Okay. And uh, so we just haven't got around to it. It's been hot. The it weather's has been, been hot. hot. It's not been yeah. suitable for like popping out and doing stuff. No, so. no, no. That's really what it's been. So the first video, what this video that we're working on now, <laughs> the one that you're seeing now, uh, is sponsored by. A ferry. This is a 800 watt power station. Uh, it's a solar power station that they've sent us kindly. What we'll do is we won't talk much about this now. Yeah. We're going to unbox it now. We're going to get it plugged in to the solar panel that they also sent us. Thank you. And then we will um, use this. Use it throughout the whole day and see and then we're going to give you a review at the end of it aren't yeah, we yeah that's right yeah yeah okay so let's get this unboxed and see what's inside okay so firstly we have a card relating to an extended five years warranty we have the user manual so that we can work out how we're going to be using this uh yeah we have that in English at least as well and a few other languages we have a little packet a uh, nice little uh, package actually let's have a look in here okay so yeah these are our charging cables so we can charge it from the mains or we can charge it from a solar panel which we've also been given so obviously today that's what we're going to be using, the solar panel charger. Put that to one side. We have, oh that's like a little bag to keep it in when we're travelling around with the A-Ferry. And this will be the power station then. 
Okay, so this is the 800 watt portable power station by A Ferry. It's the model AF P010. Okay, so the power station straight out the box. We are going to see if there's any power in it already. Um, if not, we'll just put it straight on charge. So in order to switch the power on, what we do is we hit this power button here for about three seconds. It beeps and we can then see the display and see where we are. Okay, so it's come with 28% charge, which is probably pretty good and probably would be enough for us today. But nevertheless, with 28% charge, what we'll do is we'll pop this on the solar panel now and get it fully charged. And here's the solar panel that they've sent us. So it's, um, it's quite a chic grey uh, fabric. So if you're worried about it being aesthetic when it's not in use, then that ticks the box for you. Why did we that? We've got our charging cable here. More info about the 100 watt solar panel. And what I've just noticed on there as well, actually, if you reopen that one upside, it's also got. On Lots this of the technical data. Technical data there, but this as well, so you can charge things directly from the solar panel as well as charging the, the panel, it's the, the box the itself. The box itself, yeah. It has these little chargeable ports, which I think is a really good idea, actually, the really uh, thoughtful use of a solar panel as well. Yes, so we have nice. a three section 100 watt solar panel um, it's got two velcro um, stands so you can get your correct angle to get the best gain from the solar and uh, the charging cables they looked a decent length so we're going to get this set up now I think what we'll do is because it's hot we'll put the power station inside and we'll feed the wire through the window. So first mistake already, the A Ferry solar panel uh, comes with a Anderson connector, um, which is great uh, because they're really handy to have these Anderson connectors. But for the power station, we need an XT60 connector to get it charged. But with the power station came the XT60. So we've just had to do a, a swap around and now we're connecting the XT60 to the solar panel. Okay, so straight away the solar panel is charging. We're now on 77 watts is coming in on that 100 watt solar panel, which is really, really good. Um, according to this, it should take five hours for it to fully charge on 77 watts coming in. And as you can see, it's given us an indication that that's actually happening. A quick first impressions on the A-Ferry uh, power station and solar panel. The solar panel is really small, compact and lightweight definitely for 100 watts. And as you just saw there, we're getting 77 watts coming in straight away, which is absolutely brilliant. The design of the A-Ferry power station, clean, simple. It just looks really simple to operate, which is really, really nice. So we'll leave that on charge and uh, let it do its thing and we'll come back to it a little bit later on in the day. artificial intelligence bird identification. I want to track some birds into the land and uh, we can also show you some footage of that as well. Okay, so we'll see what's inside the box. Do you know what it reminds me of? No. Did you ever have mouse trap yes. when you were a kid? Yeah, it does. Especially that bit there, the, the perch this bit when piece. it came out, I was like, ah! Oh. That mouse trap, yeah. I have my camp kitchen set up with our camping stove and a frying pan and then something that I prepared earlier I've got a portion of 
bread dough already made to make some flatbreads so I'll get those on now. So I was trying to figure out what we could eat while we were here with our one one burner little camping stove and it's quite easy really so I've got my bread dough which I cheated and made uh, this morning so I'm hoping to get four flatbreads out of this which I should and then we'll have one each for lunch with some pate and I'll pick some tomatoes from the garden then the other two will be breakfast tomorrow and we can just toast them up and have them with some homemade plum and ginger jam. difficult without um, a rolling pin but if you just keep working it and then letting it rest then you can get them out to a decent size. Okay so at the moment I'm filming the unboxing of the Wipet bird feeder um, and trying to go through the instructions trying to work out what it what it needs it first needs charging the camera on it needs charging it is solar panel solar powered once it's up and running but just to give it that first boost i think first boost of power so luckily we've got the a ferry which we're using here and uh, i've just plugged in the bird feeder to that yeah so while the a ferry is being charged it's charging our camera batteries here and it's also charging the bird feeder as well. So that was a little bit of an unexpected need for charging. So whilst Elaine's doing the cooking, I'll read through the instructions of the bird feeder so that when I come back to putting that together, I might have a little bit of a clue what's going on, hopefully. Last grid is in and the other three are tucked away. So one each for lunch and one each for breakfast tomorrow. Okay, so now we need some tomatoes. So let's you and me go and get some. Got our bowl. Here we go. Okay, so just an update on the A ferry. Still on the solar panel, we're up to 50% charge now, so that's really good. We've also got uh, the Canon uh, camera battery being charged and the bird feeder battery being charged as well at the same time as it charging on the solar. So that's really, really good. It's only three watts going out, mind, and 76 coming in from the solar panel, so pretty good going. Let's get into the time where need to jump in the plunge pool so I'll get this ready get myself in Ooh, nice oh.
Oh. Okay, I'm going to try and jump in. Jump in, he says. Jump in. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay, I'm coming in. No, it's nice. It's nice now that you're in, isn't it? <laughs> Max hasn't quite found where to settle yet. The floor's not quite uh, as cold as the village house and we've had to hose him down so he's given himself another clean because he was so smelly and stinky after coming out of the pond. Earlier on I said that I brought some food with us and this evening we're going to have a stir fry for dinner and then I was going to make a carrot cake and this is my carrot cake. So in here I've got everything I need all pre-weighed, pre-chopped and it just needs mixing and then I'll pop it into the Ridge Monkey and cook it really slowly on the little gas burner. Well at least that's the plan. So in here I've got self-raising flour, some baking powder, um, a grated carrot that I've squeezed the juice out of, some chopped nuts, brown sugar, one egg, sunflower oil and something else. Cinnamon! Lots of cinnamon. Mmm, delicious. I think I'm going to add a little bit of water just because it's looking a bit, well, it feels a bit tight. So I'll put a splash of water in and then we'll get it in the Ridge Monkey. So I've got it onto the lowest flame that I can manage without it going out. And our cake is all tucked up. Now it just needs to cook. Because it's clipped here, I can keep turning it and turning it. But we'll give that a few minutes first and that should be good. Flipped it over after a few minutes and let's see how it's starting to set. Yep, yeah, just starting to set and you can see the cake starting to form inside and now it's cooking the underside. So I think we're almost there. There's my cake, nice and golden actually. Quite springy. I'm still going to turn it just once or twice more just to make sure it's cooked in the middle. Okay, hope you can see that. It says that the power station is up to 100% now. Not sure when that happened because I fell asleep. Yep, just had a little snooze, maybe it's half an hour or so, but it's about 5pm now, so I think the last time I checked that was somewhere around 3, just been getting on with stuff and then as I say, had a little snooze, don't usually snooze in the day, but it was nice and cool. Anyway, I'm going to start um, getting on making some t dinner not going to have it yet I'm just going to chop all the veggies we're just having a nice simple stir fry so I'll get that sorted and um, it'll be ready for when we feel like eating but it's nice now the house is in full shade and we can really feel it starting to cool down which is lovely Be living on my cabbage forever. Go on, jump, 
good. I think you've been living off it for a long time. I think he's been living here because that's where he shed his skin. So he's been hanging out around here until his new outer body has grown and hardened. That's really cool. The pumpkin patch has been going for quite some time now. Been putting lots of attention and water into it and there are no pumpkins, no fruit of set whatsoever. So I think today is going to be the day it gets the chop and I'll just compost whatever's all that greenery. Yeah, I'm going to go and check each plant individually. If it doesn't have any fruit on, it's going. But before I do that, my secateurs need a good sharpening. They are blunt. Luckily, got my stone with me, so we'll get that sharpened up. I think I've spotted a pumpkin. Can you see it? Have you spotted it? Yep, after months and months, there's one. Tiny weeny thing. Now I have had one or two like those before, and then they just dried and shriveled off. I'm going to let that one live. This pumpkin can try and survive. Well, that was quite brutal but there's no pumpkins on any of these. I've only seen the tiny one that was over there, so I've left that, but I've cut that one right back so it can focus its energy. And for some reason, I've left one on there because it's got some flowers on. So we'll just have some fingers crossed. And that's it. Well, at least there's a decent amount of organic material gone into the compost pile. Lovely.
The stars were amazing last night because there's no street lights here. Max was a bit unsure. Couldn't find a comfy spot for a long time. All in all, a nice space. Okay, so it's early morning now. We're coming to the end of our overnight sleep out at the, uh, at the cabin. And I just wanted to say a big thank you to A Ferry for sponsoring this video. Really nice little power station actually. Feels really sturdy. I love the handle on it. And as I lift it there, it's also really light compared to some other power stations that we have. So this is, yeah, this is the 800 watt portable power station by A Ferry. It could be charged by an AC input up to 400 watts directly from your mains, or it can be charged from a solar panel, 200 watts maximum can get put into here. Uh, again, thankfully to A Ferry, they supplied us with a 100 watt solar panel. Really, really nice solar panel as well. Done a great job of getting this charged up. This does come with a pure sine wave inverter. So you can power up your sensitive electronics like your laptop and things like that. So this power station can also charge things on the 12 volt socket here, your standard in-car charger. Anything up to 10 amps that will take. And it's got all of your usual USB outputs just here as well. Also has a light if you need it. And uh, this is the power on and off button. Another thing we notice particularly on this power station compared to others is the display. As clear as a whistle, really nice, really clear, really straightforward, you know exactly what's going on, you know how much power is coming in, how much power is going out. Very straightforward, really nice design on the display just there. So all in all, a really sturdy, really nice power station I think, that we are going to use down here on the land in this cabin house as our main source of power. So thanks very much to A Ferry for sponsoring this video. Really nice piece of kit. Um, I do have some links in the description. Check them out. You got a bit. <laughs> got, you have, <laughs> bit of a sweat on, yeah. You have got I've been bit. working in the garden. Um, Eight o'clock in the morning, and it's yeah, now about it's... ten o'clock in the morning, and you've been working since. Um, since breakfast, since about yeah, 8 o'clock. Yeah, after breakfast See? until now. And now, and it's, it's, now it's hot. So, yeah. yeah, excuse me being a sweaty mess. Yeah. However, we have loved our time down here in the garden house. Um, for me, mm. I think it's given me a very clear sense in how we need to move forward. Any thoughts from you first? No, I just loved it. <laughs> I just loved it and I got fed. <laughs> well, I think it's just been really nice. It's so quiet down here. Yeah. Our street is what I noticed. Our street is quiet. Ten cars go past on a daily basis. That's about it, which is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, excuse me. But I think um, here it's even quieter. And once the cicadas stop, anyway, once they calm down, it's yeah. just silence. And the stars last night, just looking out of the... Well, I just went outside here and just looked up at the stars. The sky was beautiful. So I think for me, yeah, it's just a really nice space to be. Very peaceful, peaceful. very calming, yeah. very grounding. I think for me to make much more use of the space, um, I've got an idea and I'm going to sort of prioritise, I think, put mm -hmm. a plan together and prioritise the uses. Like um, having a compost in loo would mm -hmm. be yeah. really useful. Yeah. Um, and a shower space mm -hmm. and then obviously work on our deck we've talked about the deck that we would like mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. there and just make it a bit more comfortable when you step out mm -hmm. when you step out the door there's quite a drop at the moment but that's designed <laughs> like that because we are yes we are going to put a, a raised deck out yeah. there so, so you stop step out onto a a less of a drop yeah definitely yeah yeah so mm. yeah i would say yeah. our 24 hours here <laughs> has been a huge success um 
Max is ready for going home now, I think. <laughs> he did just have another little dip in the stinky pond, so it'll be a wash for him when he gets home. Mm. It'll be a shower for me and a shave for Darren. Oh, okay. <laughs> but... That's it. That's our time here. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for um, spending time with us. Hope you enjoyed what we've done. Mm. And uh, It's been fun. It has. Yeah. Take care and we will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.